Hi, Angus from Knowledge Mappers here again. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate our Countries of the World Template Atlas Geographic Layout Map. Just a couple of points of uh, order uh, before we uh, start. This demonstration is taking place in the Mine Manager software environment. This is a uh, Mine Manager 15. So uh, if you check the product page on the website, you'll see what alternative format the map may well be uh, available in. And how I'm going to walk you through, how we're going to do this demonstration, I'm going to walk you through the contents of the map, main contents, then we'll look at the marker index groups that also come with the map, and finally at the end we'll finish off by looking at a couple of other maps that are related and complementary uh, to this one. Okay, let's get stuck in then. This is the Countries of the World Template Atlas Geographic Layout Map. So it's a definitive template atlas map of countries of the world, as defined by ISO 3166 Part 1, the international standard. And it's arranged by UN-defined macro-geographical regions and sub-regions, so Europe, Asia, Africa, Americas, etc. With over 280 branches hyperlinked to the relevant country or region page in Wikipedia, this map provides the basic geographic framework for users to create their own country-based maps, saving them errors in the process. Associated text marker and flag icon groups based in the regions, subregions, and countries will also enable users to geotag and, of course, geofilter branches on any existing map by simply copying and adding them to the marker index. And I'll show you how how that all works uh, at the next part of the demonstration. But for now, we'll just walk through the content. So let's um, zoom in a bit, and we'll see. Um, as with all our maps, our central topic here, we have a note attached to the topic. has all the map metadata description uh, of the map. And then we're also uh, hyperlinked through to the product page on the uh, website, knowledgemappers.com website. So as you can see, it's a geographic uh, layout. So our countries are laid out or our regions are laid out as you'd kind of expect to see them on a geographic map on a world the world's standard mercator projection world atlas so europe over here america over here on the other side of the atlantic uh, etc so we then have um, sub-regions and finally uh, the countries so the subregions are everything's got the T number code and the subregions as well. As you can see, we've got nice graphics as well to put everything in geographic context. If we get to the actual country branch, single branch, we have standard um, content as far as we're concerned. So we have the official standard ISO 3166 content, so we've got the country short name in English, followed in brackets by the two-letter code, three-letter code, three-number code, and finally the uh, long names, official country long names. In some instances, the long name is the same as the short name, but in others, it is actually uh, longer. Uh, also, you can see we have two different colours denoting different status. So most countries are independent sovereign states, but we also have lots of, uh, quite a few dependent um, states overseas territories, whatever. The main thing is they have some sort of dependency on another country. So these are coloured grey with the uh, italics and there's a text note attached to tell you what the dependence relationship is. So the Island Islands here, for example, are a neutral and demilitarised autonomous region of Finland. And as you can see, they're tagged as well by various marker groups, and we'll get on to that, as I said, in the next part of the demonstration. So here we see our uh, countries here, arranged A to Z within the sub UN defined um, sub region. And we've got a single hyperlink, and that goes through to the page, country page on Wikipedia, which is an excellent place to start. Next, starter for 10 as an information source uh, about the country. Draw your attention to the top right hand corner of the Wikipedia page. We have this grey fact box that's got all the kind of uh, reference 
facts you could uh, possibly want to forget about the country. That's a good uh, handy, handy quick information source. Uh, Booby Island, uh, Denmark, etc. And of course, all the uh, regions and sub-regions have got a corresponding page in Wikipedia too. So lots of information uh, in there. It's a template map, so the idea is that we give you start for 10 information, but the branches themselves form the structure that you can uh, either use in situ to create another map yourself using the framework that's already there, or you can copy and paste branches to another map, and you'll uh, that will then give it you know the framework there in the other map. So that's really the uh, content. Moving on to the indexes. Oh, I guess we should keep this expanded. And as you can see, or not see, uh, I should say, uh, in Mind Manager we uh, can show and hide the tags. So they're either all on or all off. So they're uh, all on now and uh, allow me to show you the tags. We've got three groups of uh, text-based marker tags. So the uh, country, let's start at the region. Let's get the tag, region and sub-region are tagged, and then finally the countries themselves. I also point out that for the dependent territories, dependent countries, to, they are also tagged with the um, country they are dependent on, and I'll show you an illustration of uh, why that's useful shortly. But before I do that, just finish off on the tags. Point out so we've got the. There's also one extra tag group, and that is an icon group. So we actually have the country flag as an icon, as well as the short name and uh, all the codes. So the flags that are on the country branches right now are embedded topic images. Uh, the advantage of those is, um, you know, they're there, they're flexible, you can change the layout of them, top, bottom, side, uh, whatever, and even um, change the size of them. However, within my manager, uh, icons are very, very specific kind of things, and they are the same size, they always plot the same size or render at the same size, no matter the size of the uh, image file. So, you know, the further you get out, the less legible uh, they are as, um, you know, flags to, de to denote stuff. But it's kind of horses for courses in some instances. You would want big flags, or other instances you want, because you want the topic image to be something else. But with the icon group there, then that gives you the uh, flexibility to uh, do what best suits. Moving on then to what you're actually going to use these flags, for the um, markers for. Here's a scenario. You are the new sales manager of the Europe, Africa, and Middle East region. So let's use the power filter within my manager. So, and the tags. So you are Europe, Africa. Now the Middle East is not a region, it's a sub-region, and in UN speak, it's not the Middle East, it is Western Asia. So, let's do power filter, and there we have it. So there's all our maps in, by, arranged by sub-region. So we can either work with the map as it is, or we can send the filtered topics to a new atlas, a new map, where it contains just those filtered topics, save that, work with that, and uh, do whatever. But we're not going to do that. So you can see the power of the uh, filter. 
Alternatively, let's look at the, as I mentioned, the uh, country tags. So let's have a look at the remains of the British Empire across the world. So as we were saying, the countries, the branches themselves, are tagged by a dependent country if they are dependent on, a, on our country. So let's look at the United Kingdom. For example. So here we see United Kingdom. Uh, over here, as well as the over Crown Protectorates that are the uh, County Isle of Man, Jersey. But as you can see, as we wander across the globe, the little bits of Britain, the remains of the Empire, um, just about in all continents, especially the Caribbean there, and Antarctica as well, because Britain is the, a signatory to the Antarctic Treaty. One last thing to point out about uh, markers is our mark, the marker tags are portable, so uh, we can copy them, have a new map, paste marker group and straightforward bam, bish bash bosh it's into our new map to be used or an existing map and we can tell so we've got the power to geotag things and geofilter things so i hope you'll agree uh, a very powerful feature so that really concludes the walkthrough of the countries of the world map template atlas geographic layout map so i'm going to show you uh, as I said, a couple of other maps are related and complementary to this one. So, it's a, as I said, it's a template atlas with a geographic layout. So, the, the two, the, they're the two variables in our atlas range. So, we could also have, instead of a geographic layout, we also offer the straightforward A to Z uh, layout. All the countries, all of our whole world, arranged just A to Z. They do still have the geotags, so we can still do what we did before. Europe, Africa, and Western Asia. So there we go, there's our same filter query. Europe, Africa, Middle East, but everything's uh, arranged uh, A to Z as opposed to a sort of pseudo-geographic layout. Horses for courses. Some instances where A to Z is going to be useful to you. Some instances where the pseudo-geographic layout is uh, more appropriate. It's uh, up to you. The other angle is uh, these are the template atlas. So as I said, it's to be used as a source for our other maps. We also offer our research version of the map. And what the research atlas is all about is giving you lots of links to information resources on the internet for you to be doing deep, deep research, deep fact finding and information gathering, whatever, uh, online. So, um, again, our research maps are offered A to Z and a geographic layout. This is the geographic layout one. So as we open up a branch, and we've got currently 16 sub-branches or sources of uh, other information about the country. So we've got the uh, BBC, for example, BBC News profile. This is a very good one, the CIA World Factbook. Now they're very kind of um, interchangeable, if you like. Wikipedia's obviously got a lot of this information, and... They all reference each other in sources or whatever, but in particular with the World Factbook, it's uh, very good for uh, economic uh, data, facts about uh, countries. So if you're doing want to create uh, doing research to create um, business maps or for business purposes, perhaps researching new markets or whatever, I could heartily recommend the World um, Factbook. Uh, another recommendation is this one, the Inter International Government Information Library. Maintain the University of Colorado. These guys are paid by the UN to 
maintain links to document the links and maintain the links to uh, all the country related official country related uh, sources including the uh, government the country's own government websites and uh, stuff like that. So that's a fantastic uh, resource to do. And finally, one I'll point out, I mean, you can check uh, the product pages for the research atlases on the um, on our website and you'll see full demonstration videos there. But uh, finally, I'll point out the, the Wiki Voyage, which is kind of like another Wikipedia wiki project, but uh, for the uh, current traveller Really, so um, that's a good source of uh, more current uh, information as opposed to general uh, reference stuff. So it's uh, all good stuff. Horses for courses, loads of different things. Use them all in conjunction uh, with each other. Discounts if you buy them together. Uh, on Check the website and uh, see the uh, bundled product options there. So finally, 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 we'll uh, look at the fact that um, all hitherto it's all been in the Mind Manager digital mind map software environment but usually all our maps are at least offered as a PDF version as well so here we see PDF map Acrobat Adobe Acrobat has a built-in viewer that comes as standard uh, with Acrobat view with Acrobat viewer software to actually look at uh, mind manager maps in an interactive way so you can open and collapse the branches and you can see hyperlink through just and you can just follow the hyperlinks through and it'll open up in your whatever your uh, specified browser is so very useful for sharing with people you uh, who don't have mind managing mind manager or mind mapping uh, software also remind my manager users of the options so that you can I mean, use our maps as, to create the framework for your own maps and then if you publish them as PDFs then this is how you can share them with your colleagues well that concludes demonstration of the Country of the World Template Atlas Geographic Layout. Hope uh, you've uh, got something from it. I've had a blast and I'll see you again next time.